We're still talking about compound interest and um, I have another question for you and I'm going to solve this question twice, uh, so once in this video and then uh, I'm going to work it completely out and then in the next video I'm going to do the same question but I'm using the formula, okay? But please have a look at this video first before you move on to just simply without thinking applying this formula because you want to understand the formula before you use it, okay? So in this video I'm going to work it out. I invest $200 uh, for three years at a rate of 4% per year compound interest. Okay, that's important information. How much money will I have after those three years? Yeah? So the total amount, not just the interest, or not uh, compared to a, a different figure, now how much money will be sitting in my bank account. Okay, so $200 for three years. I'm gonna do it relatively quickly, relatively quickly. Um, I'm structuring my information year one yeah two hundred dollars all right and they're giving me four percent yeah? so i find out what is four percent of two hundred dollars so i divide it by a hundred percent that times it by four and that is or those are eight dollars so after year one they're going to give me eight dollars compound interest yeah that's not the same as simple interest at the beginning of year two i don't have two hundred dollars in my bank account no i have two hundred and eight dollars in my bank account now i'm going to get four percent over two hundred and eight dollars yeah which is slightly more than 200 so my my interest also will increase okay 208 divided by 100 that is 2.08 times four, that is eight, oh, there we go, eight point and 32 cents, yeah? So a slightly increase, yeah, but still an important increase. Beginning of year three, all right, I will not have $208 in my bank account anymore, no. I add the, uh, the interest, yeah, because it's compound interest, I add the interest to that amount. So I'm gonna have, what is it, 216, and 32 cents sitting in my bank account. And now I'm gonna get 4% over that amount, okay? Now I'm a little bit lazy now, I'm gonna use my calculator, yeah. 216 and 32 cents, um, divided by 100 times four. And you might use a different method to find a percentage of an amount, yeah. I use this method. It is 8.65, to eight, okay? The question was, or is, how much money will I have after those three years, so how much money will I have in total? Well, at the beginning of year three, it is 216 and 32 cents. I'm gonna get some more interest there, 865.28. So I'm going to perform that addition now, 216.32. Two, all right, there we go. And then uh, to two decimal places, and because we're talking about money, so the cents, two, two, four, and 97 cents, okay? So that will be the total amount of money I'm gonna have after those three years, okay? So again, compound interest, you find the interest you get and you add that to the amount uh, for the next year, because now you're gonna get 4% over a slightly larger amount, yeah? Where for simple interest, you would find 4% of 200, yeah? You would just multiply that number by the amount of years you're gonna invest in, all right? But that's not what you do for compound interest, yeah? But compound interest questions are always worth many, many, many more points. Yeah, well, but actually, it's not difficult, okay? Three times I calculate the percentage of an amount. I should be able to do that read the question properly, how much money do I have in total? So I have to do that final addition. Eh? Perhaps in a different question it will ask me, how much interest do you receive? Well, those three added together, it's the amount of interest I will receive. Okay, I'm gonna do the same question now in the next video using the formula. So I'm gonna see you there.